Russia says one of the reasons that they bombed that site 10 miles from the Polish border is because foreign fighters were there. So let's bring in ABC News foreign correspondent Maggie Rooley, who's in Lviv for more. Uh, Maggie, what do we know about this attack? Hey, Diane. Yeah, we know this was a major attack, killing more than 35 people, wounding uh, more than 130. Now, we do know foreign fighters had been there. The base is well known as somewhere that NATO troops as well as American troops had been training not too long ago. President Biden just pulling out the Florida National Guard a couple weeks ago. Uh, so this is a historical uh, base that's known for housing foreign fighters. But, Diane, Russia is claiming in part they attacked this base because the route is on, they say, is where arms are being brought in. Now, Diane, though, what is is scary to think about is that route not only used for arms but also for refugees. You know, we spoke to one American who's volunteering over here to drive refugees back and across the course of the border. He said he has made this drive dozens of times. He has gone past that base dozens of times. So when you think about how close these bases are to regular people, civilians, and refugees, it gives you an idea just of the scope of this war and the danger that everyone is dealing with. Yeah, it's also very close to Lviv, where you are right now, and that yeah. city has long been considered a relatively safe city to be in as far as this war goes. But a senior administration official now tells ABC News that Russia is expected to increase its attacks across Ukraine and may even target Lviv. So what's the latest on that and how concerned are the people there? Uh, yeah, Dan, this is very concerning. I think for many people here, they've been watching this closely. I mean, uh, right now, you see Lviv behind me. It's still relatively bustling. It is full of refugees, people that have fled this heavy fighting in the east, trying to find some sense of safety here. But now, uh, that concerning new intelligence report, uh, they're citing that Russians may start to think that the military is hiding out here, that arms are being stored here. They may even want to create panic by attacking people here in Lviv. Again, none of this has happened yet, but is definitely something that is worrying people here here, uh, everyone here trying to find safety in Lviv. And in other parts of the country, Maggie, the Russian attacks have been increasingly hitting residential buildings and civilian infrastructure. Uh, but Ukraine did announce new humanitarian corridors for people to escape. How's that going? Yeah, Dan, we've been following this so closely, especially in some of those southern cities. A town like Mariupol, they have been getting hit so hard constantly uh, for almost two weeks now. They've been living under shelling. People there haven't been able to leave. Slight good news. There seems to be uh, some sort of uh, easing in that bombardment. The local mayor's office is saying that at least 160 cars have been able to leave today. Now, no official buses have been able to get out. So this is still very individual, a slow stream of people leaving. But a little bit of good news. Some people are leaving that city Diane, though, also concerning is that even the people are leaving, no humanitarian aid convoys have yet been able to get in. So people still trapped inside. They are still without food, running water, heat. So people are still asking for a ceasefire, those humanitarian corridors. A little bit of good news today, but so much more is needed. Yeah, that's for sure. And, and a senior U.S. official also tells ABC News that Russia has asked China for military support. What do we know about that and how could that impact this war? Yeah, Dan, this is so interesting that both China and Russia are denying this allegation, but that U.S. official is saying that Russia asked China for help for arms. And if this were to happen, it would be major and in complete escalation, not only if Russia were able to get those arms and get those extra reinforcements, but also on a global stage to have China joining a power with Russia. I mean, it would throw really NATO and the U.S. against two other major powers of Russia and China, and unfortunately getting closer to that global war that none of us want to have happen. Dan. All right, Maggie Rooley in Lviv. Maggie, thanks. Stay safe. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.